It's time! It's a heavyweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Alir Latifi. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Ilya, the Sledgehammer, Latifi! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match? It's not a You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Nice punch by Latifi. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Caught the kick. And 
they separate. Right hand on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice straight punch. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Boy, touch that. That knee, that knee hurt him. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. He is all about that left kick to the body. Effective punch there by Lee. Watch knees to the body. Big head kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Powerful leg kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big leg kick land. Latifi gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, single collar tie here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And they set it. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. TV gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he oh, comes nice through knee. with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Stuff fantastic kick now. And this might just be a matter of time. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Latifi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on.
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Hands up. Oh, huge block. Right hand punch to the clinch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Latifi gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big power shot there. I mean, is this thing on the feet? How many times can you say punch to the head? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh! He's hurt bad. That's how you finish your fight. Oh, big left. An uppercut in. Latifi's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he heard a bell with a jab. Got clip with the right hand. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, crisp boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick lands. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Luke. Great punch lands with so much power. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Let's go. Set up that high kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Visibly limping here. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. The Kimura's not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. what a 
beautiful Kimura finish by this great fight. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission.